In the United States, in 2024, there will be approximately 2 million new cancer diagnoses, and unfortunately about 600,000 of those won't survive their cancers. It's been estimated there's about 18 million cancer survivors in 2022 in the United States that they expect to get up to 22 million by 2032. And the reason more folks are surviving their cancers is because of the amazing treatments that are available throughout this country. There's amazing research being done developing new and novel treatments, but unfortunately they're only available in specific areas in the country. So that leaves a disconnect. You have cancer patients in certain locations and treatments that could save their lives in other locations, and how do we bring those two together? And that is where Corporate Angel Network comes in. So we're hangar flying this morning in uh, central Connecticut at uh, Brainerd Airport, Hartford Jet Center uh, on a rainy morning with uh, Bob Stangerone, Corporate Angel Network. And uh, Bob, you and I have been in this industry long enough to know that you roll up in a Premier One like this and uh, the naysayers and folks that are sort of misinformed think it's another rich guy running around in a turban. But I bet you they would have a different perspective if they knew that some of these turbine operators donate these airplanes, the flight crew, to carry cancer patients to uh, treatments that they wouldn't be able to get to otherwise. Corporate Angel Network, let's talk a little bit about the history and uh, what this organization is really all about. Well, it's great to be here, Larry, and thanks for the opportunity. Uh, I would like to comment on your uh, statement about the misconceptions that are out there on business aviation because that is important. Uh, the, the perception is that it's a bunch of fat cats flying on expensive airplanes when the reality is that uh, it's mostly managers, customers, suppliers that use these business aircraft as production productivity tools and uh, that, that message really needs to get out. So that said, let me tell you a little bit about uh, Corporate Angel Network. Uh, our mission is to provide uh, business aircraft free of charge so that cancer patients can get to their treatment centers around the country. A lot of them can't afford to travel on their own. Uh, they can't fly in the airlines because of autoimmune system problems and uh, they simply don't have the means to get to where they need to get to. So these aircraft are a lifesaver. Um, we focus on three main areas. The, um, the patient community, which needs to be aware of the service, so we do a lot of outreach to the uh, patient and medical community. We also outreach to flight departments so that we can generate the lift through the generosity of the flight departments and the Part 135 operators. And then there's a the donor community, which is important because uh, it helps us fund our operations and also uh, other expenses that we might incur. How long has Corporate Angel Network been in existence and uh, taking it one step further, what challenges do you have in spreading the word about what's going on here with the, with the network? Well, we've been doing this for about 42 years and in that time we've done 68,000 flights. Uh, we do currently about 2,000 flights a year. Uh, the, the challenge in talking to the uh, cancer community, the patients, is that we're probably the best kept secret in the medical profession. If, if more people knew about us, they could take advantage of it. That said, the big challenge for us is uh, also getting flight departments to, to uh, partner with us. We have hundreds of flight departments, a lot of them Fortune 500, uh, but we can only still do about 56% of the patient requests we get. So the uh, program is open to all cancer patients who don't need medical assistance on board the aircraft while traveling. It's not based on financial need and patients may travel as often as necessary. Uh, we just want to reduce the physical, emotional and financial stress uh, during what is probably the worst times of their lives. We're, we're, we're extremely uh, grateful to the corporations that do partner with us. Uh, we couldn't do it without them and uh, they find it to be a remarkably rewarding experience as well. Hi, my name is Cyril. I'm a corporate pilot. I've been doing this for about 22 years now. Uh, one of the advantages of 
doing what I do and loving what I do is to be able to uh, donate my time for Corporate Angel Network. Um, I've had uh, uh, a few experiences where I get to meet the patients, uh, fly them where they need to go to, and um, you know, help with uh, anything that they need. And, and uh, up and down the East Coast is basically what I've done. I've done about half a dozen patients so far. I've got to meet the families and meet the patients, and uh, I got to uh, understand um, what they need and, and help out in any way I can. Um, and uh, I also work with the owners that provide the airplanes. And I take care of the airplanes, well, we crew the airplanes, and we bring the patients where they need to go to get their help. The advantages of flying in these type of aircraft is uh, convenience. And uh, when you're transporting uh, medical patients or cancer patients, or, uh, it, it, it's, uh, it makes things much easier for them to be able to show up to the airport, get on board, get them to where they need to go quickly and efficiently. And uh, it's, it's a much different experience than uh, having to deal with the airlines, TSA, everything that becomes a burden and uh, becomes a hassle for uh, uh, transporting uh, patients or people. Um, once you're on board the airplane, uh, you know, we, there's, a, there's a, lot of, uh, a lot of room, a lot of seating, and um, uh, we try to make it as comfortable as we can for them to get them to where they want to go. Uh, and there's a huge, huge, huge advantage to that versus uh, flying in the airlines, which um, is usually crowded and uh, comes with all its challenges. My name is Lindsay Rutger. I'm the owner of Hartford Jet Center here in Hartford, Connecticut at Brainerd Airport. And the Corporate Angel Network is one of the great opportunities to have patients and services to fly into Hartford. We have an array of services here to support the ground network and we invite all other FBOs to do the same thing. It's important to our communities that we have these type of services to help provide transportation for those that are in need. It's our corporate and community responsibility to support organizations like this throughout the country and internationally. Fundraising is critical. We have one big fundraiser each year. It's done at uh, NBAA. It's called Fund an Angel. We typically get about 500 people attending. It's a reception about the third night of the, uh, the conference. And uh, we typically raise about uh, $500,000. So that's, that's our most important uh, event to, to raise funds. Besides that, we uh, generate uh, income from the, uh, from the generosity of others who just send us donations. And we have other events, golf tournaments and things like that, that help us raise funds as well. Yeah. Where can volunteers, donors, anybody interested in Corporate Angel Network learn more about the system and how to get this done? Yeah, we have a uh, very small staff. We have four full-time employees. We have about a dozen volunteers that operate uh, in different ways. Some are in the operations center, matching flights with patient requests, and um, others are ambassadors where they're out spreading the word. And we're always looking for volunteers. Well, thanks again to Bob Stangerone uh, for uh, giving us some insight into a pretty important organization uh, that I think deserves more, more coverage. And I'm um, Larry Anglesano reporting for AvWeb and Flying. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Larry.